everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today and happy world card making day. So I do like to mark this day and to do that I have made all these cards. So these ones here are using some of the edge dies from my latest collection. I want to show you different ways to use them. You don't just have to use them on the tower fold dies, you can use them on their own to create nice cards like this. So I've kept a kind of theme, you can see I've got those kind of rainbow colours um, throughout but you can adapt these to any colour you like, you can have them as more masculine colours, you can turn them into Christmas cards, it's entirely up to you. So if you do have the collection, you have the edge dies, I will link everything below and I'm going to show you them as well in a moment, but you will be able to create really nice cards like this. So you can see I've doubled up the balloon edge dies there and then I've used my large party stamp through the middle and I've done some embossing, lots of stars and in nouveau drops and bits and pieces, it's a very tactile card and you just open it up and inside there you have space to stamp and write your message. So this is a 5 by 7 top fold which I've made myself and again I'll show you that later. I've got this one here using the stars and I've just stamped awesome through the middle there and again you open it up and you've got your space to write and they stand really nicely as well. And then I've got this one using the dragonflies and they've got whoop whoop down the centre. Again, lots of space, stands up really nicely. And then these ones here are using the 6x6. So you've got those lovely butterflies, I really like this one. Yay, it's your day. And then I've done some different Nouveau colours there which I'll show you. And again, you can see that one. And then this one, time to party and I've got the hearts all down the side. And I've added glossy accents to all the hearts so they're very shiny. And again, you can see inside there. So let me show you everything I've used and how you can make those cards. So these are my edge dies or border dies. So these are the excellent edges and this is the portrait. The portrait and the landscape references to the tower cards. So you don't really need to worry about that. The five by seven in the landscape and the portrait, they're just five by seven, so they're gonna work um, you know, on your five by seven cards. But you can see there, you've got the stars, the balloons and the flower on that set and this one here you've got the flowers which are a different style the dragonfly and the presents and the presents work great for birthday or christmas so it's a nice set and then here you have the butterflies and the hearts which i showed and you also have that wonderful big bow which would look great as well today i'm going to show you using the flowers from this set here so you would have seen the balloons the stars and the flower um, and then flower is going to be similar to this one that I'm doing now but the dragonfly and the presents I used on the Christmas tower card which I've already shared and then the bow again you can see that one in other card styles and then these are the stamps so this stamp set here unfortunately is currently sold out so we're waiting for more to come back in but this is the one that I've used today I love the yay and lots of people are using that one and they're actually fussy cutting it out it looks really nice when you cut that one out and then you've got the party there and you've got the different things you've got let's party or time to party whoop whoop which I've done vertical so you don't just have to have it in that landscape orientation and then you've got it's your birthday and you can have yay it's your birthday um, or you can have or you can have it's your birthday yay you know you can change all these around and you can mix the two as well for those that do already have those okay so because I'm doing this as a five by seven top fold you know it's it, you, you don't really tend to get those they're not a common style because they're so tall if you were to make that you'd need 14 inch length cardstock so I'm going to make this one up myself so I've got one piece here which is five by seven that's this piece and then this piece here is five by seven and a half and along that seven and a half inch side you want to just score at seven and then you're going to fold that and that is basically now going to be the hinge for us to be able to attach this piece here okay so what you want to do first of all is you want your actual edge main edge die here so I've got all the flower ones here so you only have to run them through once you know if you're doing one color it's not like we've given you one flower and then you've got to run it through six times they are all there so using that five by seven piece you're going to grab your border die and I'm just going to grab some washi tape here and you just want to kind of butt it should because it's exactly seven inches high it kind of it clips itself on the ends of the cardstock there so it's not actually going to cut there, it's just because it's hanging over the edge. So now I can just move this and I want to get it right to the edge, like so. I'm going to pop some of my washi tape just to hold it in place. Now for the 5x7 you will need a larger format cutting machine because we're putting this in landscape. If you're using the 6x6 edge dies then that will go through a smaller one so that's okay. So I've just got my plates here so what we want to do, because we're partially die cutting, all I want to cut is the edge of the flowers here. I don't want to cut any of this cut line and these are overhanging anyway. But I'm just going to sit, I'm going to turn it so it's this way actually just so I can see it a bit better. 
make sure everything's nice and straight and then I'm just going to sit my plates over like so. You want to make sure they cover all of that flower detail there. Like I said, these are overhanging, so it's not going to cut that paper anyway. But I just don't want it to cut this line here. Now I'm going to pop that in here and let it grab the plates. I'm going in this way. I know it's the longer way in, but it's just going to cut that edge and it's not going to, you know, touch any of the cardstock there. So you'll feel it when you get there. Like so. And then carefully just take that one through. So now when I remove this keep that tape on there because I'll use it again in a minute that should just now fall away and it's just cut out all of that detail for us so now I want to repeat that on this side so again I'm just going to let it catch there get it right up to the edge and then pop that down and then again put plates on just make sure they're covering all of the flower plates are nice and straight through. Now that's all the cutting done. Take that all away and then take that away. And now we have this cool piece which has those two edges on. So next I'm going to stick down my flowers. So I've die cut already all of these and I've got two of each colour. So I'm just going to arrange you know, I think I'm going to have them opposite. So I'm going to have the red at the top on that side and then I'm going to have the red at the bottom on this side. And then I'm not too worried about doing them actually in rainbow order. I'm just going to put them wherever. So I'm just going to use some of my quick grab glue and I'm just going to pop a little bead of glue in the center there line up the outer edge so you get a nice even white border and then just pop that in place I'm just going to quickly stick them all down okay like so now I want to decorate it I'm going to keep it like this before I stick it to the base so I'm just going to grab my stamping platform just so I can get a nice crisp image so pop that one in there I'm going to pop the magnets on the flowers there and then I'm going to grab the stamp set and I'm going to see if the, yeah, will the yay fit in? No, it won't quite. Let's do the let's party again. So I think I heat embossed the last one. So we'll do, we'll stamp this one. No, I've stamped it in black on the 6 by 6 So yeah, this is, let's do it in the 5 by 7 So I might have let's party from the top. And then have, or no, actually, I do it's your birthday. So I want to make sure I've got an equal kind of white at the top and at the bottom. So, and I'm going to stamp this all in one go. Mine has stained my stamps because I've used red pigment ink or pink pigment inks, um, you know, in different cards. So, you can get rid of that, but it doesn't affect the stamp itself. Okay, I'm happy with that, so let's pick all that up. I'm just thinking that up, I just dropped my ink pad on the <laughs> lid there, but it doesn't matter. This is a nice juicy, I've, new, I've not long ear re-inked this one. So, lay that one down. That's nice, let's do one more, that's why I like the platform, because you can go in again. And There we go, that looks so nice, I love that stamp. Okay, so this is the five by seven and a half piece. So this is where I said at the beginning, now we're gonna trim off a little bit there, but you can sit this over the top. And once you've added a matte layer inside, if you choose to, you might like that it's kind of backed behind the flowers. But what I've done is I've just trimmed in a bit from each side and then stuck it. So if you kind of get a pencil and where, if you pull it down a little bit from the top there, put a pencil where it kind of starts there and then I'm going to do it there and then with my trimmer I've just trimmed that all off so that's why I've given you the measurement for the five by seven and a half piece but if you do decide to take it off then you might want to cut it to that size straight you know from the beginning so you're not wasting any cardstock but now I can just add some glue to this bit here I can add my mats and layers inside the card, but I'll do that later on. And then that will line up now perfectly 
with the top there. And now it's not backed but you just see the flowers. I prefer it this way for the, the way that I've done them but if you're going to add a matte layer like a coloured matte then the flowers would really pop out anyway as well. But I just like that, I just think it looks quite unusual. It's just a little bit different and now you have your card all ready for you to do some more mats and layers and obviously it stands up nicely there. But I do want to finish it off with some Nouveau Drops. So these are the ones that I've been using on all of the cards. They were the closest colours I could kind of get to the papers that I have. So I'm just going to do a little cluster up here, maybe have a few more cascade down. And I'm also going to add a sparkly little gem in the centre of the flowers there as well. Okay, so there is the finished card. You can see the sparkle in the centres of the flowers, which looks really nice. I think it works well with the Let's Party. And then you can see all the glossy accents there, which are drying now, so I don't want to move it too much. And I think it's turned out really nice. So I hope this has given you some more inspiration on ways to use my edge dies. And happy World Card Making Day. Thanks for watching. See you soon.